Hey, you got time for a beer? Welcome to my show. My name's Jake. Um, it's uh, it's not Thursday. It's actually Sunday. Uh, just getting back from deer camp. Figured I'd do one of these since this is one of the two days that I get off this week. Uh, today and Wednesday. Got to work all day on, on Thursday, so that'll be a great time. Um, that'll be a lot of money because I got paid for today, which is one of my days off. And then I'm getting time and a half on on Thursday for the whole thing. Um, plus, I've already worked. It, it'll be my sixth day, technically. So, um, it's going to be a lot of money. It'll be real nice. Okay, so what I got for you today is uh, by Oddside Ales. Um, it's the Bean Flicker. Coffee Blonde Ale. Um, what else does it say about this? Sure to surprise your palate, this Coffee Blonde Ale is extremely smooth and sessionable. It's, there's a dash in there. It looks like it says sessionable, but it's sessionable. With notes of vanilla and chocolate. Chocolate, crisp and refreshing. 4.5% alcohol by volume. Um, Let's see. Odd, Odd Side Ales is in Grand Haven, Michigan. That's over down there by Grand Rapids. Um, this one is one of those interesting coffees, coffee beers, because it's a blonde which means you pour it out and it looks like just a regular ale. And then you drink it and it tastes like coffee. And it kind of gives you a little bit of that coffee kick too. Um, it'll get you a little bit awake if you're not used to coffee. Or if coffee affects you that way, this'll affect you more that way. Or that way as well as just getting you drunk. Um, Smells like coffee and beer. There's definitely the vanilla in there. Strong like vanilla. Um, I think the vanilla and the uh, the coffee are kind of mixing together and it makes it taste like chocolate, but I can definitely taste the chocolate in there too. I understand what they're talking about. Um, whether or not there's actually chocolate in here, I'm not sure. With notes of vanilla and chocolate. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure if it's actually chocolate that they put in this, or if it's just the vanilla and the coffee make it taste like chocolate. It is crisp and refreshing, which goes without too much saying, because it is a blonde. And blondes are usually crisp and refreshing, um, even though they taste sort of like a stout or a porter, which... This one sort of does, because generally when you think of this flavor, you think of stout because it's roasted. You can taste the beans. What does this remind me of? It's not as boozy as the uh, the KBS um, espresso. Um, there's like two or two or three other ones that are like this. Uh, the Pale Joe from uh, from Founders. Every once in a while, you can find that actually in a bottle. Um, they're actually selling it. The first time I had that was actually in in Grand Rapids. Went to go see Titus. It was great. Um, yeah. These are real good. I think that the fact that this is pink, that the can is pink, is interesting. Um, it kind of makes me wonder if they do anything with breast cancer awareness. And you'd think that they put that right on the can if they're donating to that but I don't see anything like that on the can. Uh, um, a story that this reminds me of. Okay, so I was just twisting this guy around here, uh, and I see it says Ball here. Ball does a lot of the, the canning stuff for a lot of the different companies, especially the ones that are doing cans. Um, but it reminds me of a story that I actually heard this weekend. Uh, went to go see a, uh, a friend of the family up at the deer camp. Uh, Marilyn is a very cool woman. She lives next door. She's uh, She says she's 67, um, but she is more than likely older than that, which is fine. Um, but we'll go with 67. Uh, she's a, a nationally ranked shooter. Uh, like the, the quick draw and the rifle and the shotgun stuff that they do. Um, those three, she's, she's nationally ranked in her age group. 
and her gender, which is pretty cool. Um, she drives an, an H1 Hummer when she drives. She doesn't drive very often, but H1 Hummer is gigantic. It's a very pretty car. If you've never seen one up close. Huge. Huge car, but very pretty. Um, so anyway, the, the reason that the reason that Ball reminded me of Marilyn and this story, um, her son, I think, son or grandson, uh, bought a house down in uh, in uh, near Columbus. They were uh, clearing it out because they they there were two different houses on the property. The newer one, and then the century old farmhouse. They were going to clear out the farmhouse and um, they did burn it to the ground. I mean, they had the fire department out there and everything, but they burned it right to the ground. Um, but before they did that, they went through and they cleared, cleared out a big bunch of stuff. Um, apparently in this house, they found like a Barbie dream house, but like a really old one, like just the, the plastic, like the plastic side things. And then, but then the rest of it was all cardboard around the outside. So it was at least from the eighties. Cause I think my sister had one of those that was from the 80s that was like that which it was all still in a box um hadn't been taken out and played with so it was probably worth a couple hundred dollars because they're worth like 75 now um, and then also they found a big barrel full of bell jars um they were the blue tinted ones oh did i say bell ball ball jars excuse me And um, so they started looking, and this the family who used to live there, their last name was Ball. So they figured there might be, you know, there, there might be some interesting ones. But there were a lot of, like, different ones from different years as they're pulling them out. There are 92 of them that they pulled out. And they the, the 92 jars sold from $10 up because apparently with the way that Ball is signed on the jar, you can tell what year it's from. Um, and they had some really super old ones, which is kind of neat. But the big thing that she wanted to say is that her son, grandson, burned the house to the ground. Because, um, well, I mean, how often do you get to burn a house to the ground, really? I'm getting a little bit of a creamy flavor on this, too. It could just be from the, uh, from the mouthfeel from the, well, I, I guess it would be from the chocolate. If there's really actually any chocolate flavoring in this, it would make sense because chocolate's got a little bit of like, um, the, the co cocoa stuff is, um, more mm, fatty, I guess would be the, the way to put that. So it's going to give you a better, better mouthfeel, bigger mouthfeel. We'll go with bigger. Um but I can feel it. Like there's milk in this, but there's not milk in this because that'd be weird. And hazy. And this is not. This is very clear. Like it's supposed to be. Crisp, even. <laughs> I did not get a deer. I saw two this weekend. And I was expecting to see them again because I'd seen them before. And apparently something threw them off and they didn't come back, which is unfortunate. I've got a feeling that it's that somebody shot one of them, um, which that happens. Um, I got to sit on a, on a drive. So people walk through the woods and I was one of the people that was sitting waiting for deer to come through. I didn't see any deer. Um, but I did find one as I was walking back through. Um, my dad's cousin said it was a little button buck. I didn't look that close. I just saw bones and like fur because that's about all that was left on that deer, of that deer. No meat whatsoever. It was all picked clean. Looked like it had been there for a while. My guess is that the little birds got to it too. Well, that's the last of that. So um, I've got a couple of more things for you. Uh, the first one is a quote from Abraham Lincoln. He said, be sure you put your feet in the right place, then stand firm. 
So make sure that you're you're in the right spot before you start pushing back because you might need to back up a little bit. I think that's what he's getting at. Don't make yourself look stupid by not being willing to move your feet. But stand firm for for what you believe in. Yeah, we'll go with that. You can find me at tubajake underscore 69 at untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, yeah. I'll be back later this week, I'm pretty sure. Probably be about Wednesday, Thursday morning-ish. So, I'll see you next time. You got time for a beer.